Hey everybody, it's Tanya Atomic and I'm super excited today because I am opening this box right here that came to me from e.l.f. Cosmetics. Um, let's just... Oh, sorry if that was loud. But let's just open the box and I'm going to show you what we have got here. Oh, there's more ripping. There's more ripping of this box. Um, Elf Cosmetics is cruelty free and vegan. And they just did a collab or collaboration, if you will, with <gasps> Chipotle. Chipotle, you guys. And I don't know. Sorry, it got dark. I don't know why that's so exciting to me because. Um, Chipotle is like one step up from fast food, but it is exciting because it's burritos and it's food and it's, um, makeup. I don't know. I don't know, but I got really excited by this. Um, there's a Chipotle eyeshadow palette and a Chipotle, um, uh, make it hot limp plumping gloss. So I've got both of these here. Um, it also came with. Um, you also could have gotten this cute little avocado and avocado seed sponge, but I have so many sponges I didn't need that. And um, you can also get this makeup bag that looked like a bag of chips, which um, also I didn't need that either because I have so many makeup bags. I thought you were supposed to get a coupon for chips and salsa and I did not. Um, I wonder if that only came with the full uh, one, but I did not. I thought it came with the eyeshadow palette, but I didn't didn't get that. Anyway, um, let's take a look. Here's the eyeshadow palette here. It looks like, you know, Chipotle, very Chipotle branded there. And then when you go inside, it looks like a Chipotle station. You know, when you go through and you get the mission style burritos and there's a station with all the stuff like lettuce, green salsa, hot salsa, um, sofritas, which is what I get, and uh, pinto beans, black beans, look at this, you guys, um, white rice, brown rice, guac, uh, fajita, <clears throat> so, um, the thing is, it looks like when you take this plastic off, you get, you take off the names, so I think when I take this plastic off, the names come with it. Um, I'm going to see what if I can write the names on the palette so that I have them. Um, let's see. So I actually did it. I took a fine tip Sharpie and wrote all the names of all the shadows on there because that was going to drive me crazy if I didn't um, have the shade names on here. Um, especially because this is such a funny themed palette. I want these shade names. I want to look at them and and look like I'm looking at the Chipotle station. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to do a look with these. Actually, let me um, swatch these real quick too for you. So these are really interesting colors. They go with the theme, obviously. Um, here's lettuce. I'll start. How many shades are there? Um, let's see. I'll start here. Lettuce. Guac. Green salsa, which is so cool. It's a duochrome orange and green. And then um, that one is the hot salsa, which is an orange shimmer. It, it looks kind of matte, though, but um, it looks shimmer in the pan. I don't know if there's an overspray. Oh, it's like a matte with teeny glistens. So it's got some really teeny glistens. It's not like, let's say, a ColourPop matte with a few um, like glitters in it. It's like a matte and it's like got really tiny glistening sparkles like fine mica. So I'm going to do these colors here. 
Okay, so there's corn salsa, mild salsa, pinto beans, and sofritas. So black beans is like a dark, dark mat where pinto beans was a light mat. We got white rice and brown rice, and these are both cream shimmers. And then we've got fajita, which is like a shimmery red brown. Okay, those are all the colors swatch. The one of the cool things about this palette is you can see quads. So it looks like there's quads here that you can pick. Um, that give you easy color palettes. Today, I'm going to try to just play around here with some of the different colors. And I think what I'm going to do is go into Pinto Beans first. Now, Pinto Beans is a matte shade, but it is pretty brown. Um, pretty dark brown. So, um, I primed my eyes with Nomad Eyeshadow Primer. Ooh, right away, this is a very smooth matte. It glides right on and it blends out very softly without blending away. Okay, that done, I'm feeling bolder. I'm gonna go for a lettuce, this green one. I think, should I do it? Should I go for lettuce in the crease? Should I do it, you guys? Okay. <laughs> hooded eyes and and I put lettuce in the crease and then my my fold just covered right over so basically the pinto beans um, darkened up the gray and made it a sort of olive and then as I blend out you can see the the lighter green color I mean, it is a kind of deep olivey green to begin with. Um, just the pinto beans kind of goes, makes it go deeper in the crease, which I like. And as we blend out, we get the true lettuce color, which is not actually a true lettuce color. It's actually more of a, a guacamole co color, but they use guac for the um, green shimmer. So, okay, now <clears throat> I'm just going to clean off this brush that we use Pinto Bean with a little bit, and then I'm going to go into black beans and just do like, I like to make this outer corner darker because I think it looks better with uh, my eye shape to go darker. And although I do like that, I'm going to try to blend lettuce with it to um, bring the green back in. I'm not going to, I don't want to leave it like brown into green. I want the, or, you know, green into just brown. I want there to be a little green.
I wasn't going for, or I wasn't sure what I was going for. I didn't want to just do a green look, but there's not many mattes. There's, there's only the green and the brown <clears throat> mattes. And I wanted to use a variety of colors from this palette. So I feel like it's looking very olivey. And I, I have to be honest, there's something about the brown and green matte together when I build them up, they do seem very slightly patchy. It's not too bad. But if I keep blending, um, I get a little bit of patchiness. I've had worse with other, um, with other eyeshadows. It's not too bad. Um, but just saying, if I keep blending and blending, it feels like I'm getting a little bit of patchiness. So I'm going to, um, I really want to use the green salsa because it's a beautiful duochrome and I want to use the fajita and the sofritas. I don't know, no, 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 but I want to use the guac too. What do I do? Okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to use the green salsa. I'm just going to use my finger here. I'm going to go like more towards the um, inner portion of the eye. That is so pretty. I don't know if you're seeing the duochrome at all. I don't know. Um, but it's really pretty in person. I feel like there's a thing about uh, certain subtle shades, certain duochromes that you, that you can't pick up on camera or on most cameras um and i don't know i really don't know what to say about that but it is um sort of an olive green with sort of a reddish orange shift i don't know if you can see that in the pan i'm not sure if you can see it okay so i did that and then i think i'm gonna do fajita in the back, towards the back here. Nope. I changed my mind. Fajita is going to go in the middle. That is, that is such an interesting color too because it's like a pinky. Pinky purpley brown, sort of a greenish shift. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know if you can see that. It's a really interesting color. Especially in, in, it's a really interesting color. So fajita is the top one there, and brown, green salsa is up towards the bottom. So see how they're multi-chromes or duochromes. Really interesting colors. I really like them. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take Frajitas. Oh, Frajitas. I'm going to take Sofritas and go towards the end here. And I'm just going to have to use Guac another day. It's so pretty though. Maybe I will do this. Maybe I will do guac underneath. Then I'll take the hot salsa orange color, which is so orangey and bright, it's kind of blowing out the... Um, blowing out the camera. I think that's pretty. That 
the I'm gonna take the brush I use the browns and sort of just blend them together here and I'm gonna take um, white rice just do a little highlight up above I think that was too much <laughs> But I will go ahead and blend it out. How does that look in the camera? It looks pretty good in real life. I'm going to also take, um, hmm, I'm going to take brown rice. For a little shine in the inside here. I'm gonna finish up here. I'll be back for the lip try on. Okay, so while I was gone, I looked it up and apparently um, the chips and salsa comes as a digital coupon. So it was not in my box after all. So that was something I did not read the fine print on. Um, also, I think that this is a limited edition um, thing that is sold out already so I feel kind of bad doing doing this um try on for you guys because you can't actually get your hands on one anymore I don't think um that I you might be able to still in some way I don't know but as far as I could see it looked as if it was a limited edition that's already not on sale anymore so anyway um you can watch me use it so you get an idea of what it is and I'm sorry about that if you are wanting this collection so sorry guys um, but here's the lip plumper make it hot lip plumping gloss that you can't get I don't think <laughs> at this point but let's see what it's all about and how it looks so we'll open it up here this says it's the Elf Times Chipotle collection you didn't know you were waiting for. Customize your makeup looks the same way you customize your go-to Chipotle order. And remember, it's okay to be a little extra. The slip gloss will have your pout looking plumped and spicy. In conclusion, you'll look fire. Apply to lips as often as desired. Wear alone or on top of lip color. So, um, it is sort of like a, a reddish um kind of a um what do you call it translucent sort of color so let me try some on let me try some on and let me see just how spicy it, it is it smells like cinnamon it smells like red hots mmm which is actually nicer to me than smelling like a hot sauce. Although, would I would I like that? I don't know if I would like that or not. If it just smelled like Tapatio or something. You know, Tapatio has a um, collab, I think, with Hip Dot. Okay, so it's a thick lip gloss. It's a teeny bit sticky, but it's not that sticky. And I did put a lot on too. Okay, and I feel it tingling. Not in a minty way, but like in a hot way. Like in a cinnamon, clove kind of way. If you know what I mean.
Um, it's not too bad. It does, I do feel a little bit of burning, but it's not too bad. Um, I got a little bit on my tongue. I can feel that just a teeny bit. And yet, it feels like cinnamon or clove. Um, so anyway, this is the look I got using the lip gloss. And I will show you once again the palette. I wrote all over it, but I'm happy that I did that because I have the names now. Um, the palette has some really interesting colors in here. I can't wait to use the Mild Salsa. Um, I really like how everything turned out. I mean, it does kind of look like I smeared guacamole and hot sauce on my eyes, but um, I kind of like that. Um, I went ahead and I put mascara, Thrive Cosmetics mascara, and I did use an e.l.f. waterproof liner and did a little bit of a wing, but, um, you know, it, the struggle is real when having hooded eyes and trying to do wing liner, but, um, you know, I improvise and I, and I do what I can, um, to make it look okay. Anyway, so this is everything. What do I think of the lip gloss? It's fine. Um, it's not too colorful. I do feel the plumping, but my lips are pretty plump on their own, and I don't usually get a lot out of plumping gloss, honestly. Um, I don't really notice it too much. Um, the eyeshadow I really, really liked. I really, really like. And, um, you know, like I said, I love these colors. I, the concept is hilarious to me but the fact that um it's a really funny concept and it's also uh really beautiful too and really something that i i can get a lot of use out of especially i'm going to try these quad looks and um i can i know i can wear some of these just casually and some of these are a little more um fancy and I really do like it a lot. Um, I feel like it's unfortunate that you can't still get it. And I wish that Elf would make more or do something else that's kind of similar to this um, with these quads and, you know, the special sh shades and the mattes together kind of thing. So anyway, that's everything for this video. Uh, let me know what you think of this. Is it too gimmicky? I'm, I say no. I say it's so pretty and it came out really pretty. It's not too gimmicky. And um, But what do you think? Do you think it's too gimmicky? Do you feel like you missed out on something? Do you have it too? Are you making looks? I want to see those. And that's everything for today's video. Thanks for watching.